Hello and welcome to today's video. This is a particularly nice vehicle. Nearly new, meaning that it is available for sale. Heimer B580, it's on the Mercedes basis. It's 699 centimeters long, 222 wide. It's 298 uh, in height, if I remember rightly. It's got 198 centimeters of standing height as well. Please have a look at the description for the exact measurements uh, if you're interested because I'm doing this from memory and sometimes I forget. This vehicle, 140,000 uh, euros and guess what there's some information about it is that visible at all and uh, so it's on a 170 horsepower euro 6d 417 cdi mercedes sprinter and uh, on a four and a half ton basis it's a weight of about 3400 it'll give you 1100 kilos of payload sleeping for two at the back we have this german layout but uh, as with all layouts of this nature the uh, this will come out this plate will come out and it'll give you two singles if you so desire storage under the beds and in the step and in the steps there are pull out steps to allow you to get into the bed when the layout is like it is here. Storage all the way around. Two televisions, one being there. I'll open this one up for you to make the point. And it's quite deep going back. Now, there's no uh, lights on in here. As you can see, there's no, it doesn't have any bulbs in, in, in the lights down there and uh, it's still very bright, although admittedly it is a particularly bright day today. This one comes with this Truma Aventa aircon. That will only work, however, on hookup. That needs to be pointed out very clearly. I do like the contoured shape of the floor and the access, the passage, so you sort of walk down here at an angle. Also note, that the floor is flat all the way back to the beds. And anyway, let's have a look inside the double floor. This SLC chassis, super uh, lightweight, gives 36 centimeters depth. There you've got electricity. This comes with 150 ampere hours of lithium. Easy access to your fuses. And there, you can see how deep that is. I'll stick my foot in it to make the point. Lots of storage down there. So what if you wanted to have a look at your uh, water tank? There you go. There's a quick look at your water tanks. And uh, here, if you want to clean the insides of the water tank as well, uh, I've done a video on something called cleaning the probes. The probes are um, there to show you how much water is in the tank and you can open up the this and clean the probes from inside sometimes when the probes get dirty they give a false reading as to how much water uh, there is in the system how do the probes get dirty if there's only water in good question I'm glad you asked that one they get dirty through calcification yeah I'll just open this one up here as well Ah, you can see it's a little, but now the one on the other side is much larger. And this will also open there, and that opens up there as well. Wardrobe here. So you've really got three wardrobes. So there's plenty of storage in this van. Deep fridge. Now the kitchen, sorry not kitchen, that's the kitchen behind me, this is the uh, washroom. A lot of space in here, bearing in mind that this is only a 7 metre motorhome. Look at how much space there is in this. 
and if I come in, so there's the shower unit and obviously I wouldn't normally be showering with my boots on and uh, with the duck board out, but even so there's still a lot of uh, headroom above me. And here into the kitchen, that's pretty standard. And oh, that's pretty standard. Here we have, there's the shelves, not the shelves, the drawers, sorry. 15 kilo maximum on that. But notice the shape as well when I was talking about the contour, for example. I like the way that they give more space in the corridors. I've also got their storage down here as well. Handy putting a, a drawer in there. And then one of the, the reasons, it's only a little thing maybe a drawer like that. In many vehicles that don't have a double floor, the water tank is here. But getting rid of the water tank gives you more storage. Uh, well, not getting rid of it, it's in, it's in the double floor. But the advantages of this SLC double floor, in my opinion, are, are great. And anyway, there may be more, if I remember to do it, there may be more information in the description. Uh, right, television here. Now, we've got the headrests there. Headrests would normally, of course, be in here. But to, for, to demonstrate the size of the television, the headrests have gone out down there. And there's a look down this very bright uh, motorhome. All right, so there we have a look at the Mercedes front to it. I've just acquired my own B class and I'm very impressed by it. Right. The door, I think, is great. Window in it, there's a bin in it, there's hooks on it for your coats, and there's hooks up here. Lots of motorhomes don't have things like that. I know it sounds something which is so basic and so easy to do, but they just don't have them. I'll show you up here as well. I can't see the point of this though. This is this is beyond me. Storage up there. And the blinds. Oh, another thing I'll point out is this. Blinds are not there as sun blinds. They're there to make it dark at night. During the day, always allow the windows the acrylic windows the chance to breathe if that's the right word in these kind if you keep the air, the blinds down hot air builds up here it can lead to scratching it can lead to cracking and it can lead to deformities so keep these things open and re try and remember to do that when you get up in the morning as well to uh, actually expose the um, the, 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 the van to light now, if you don't want that, then maybe some other solution, such if you don't like getting in, get some net curtains or, or something like that is, is my advice. Anyway, let's, uh, let's now come out. Turning this around for a last look inside. Oh, I should mention this. This looks like it's a drawer. No, that's where the toilet is on the other side. Because this bit here, although it looks like a big cupboard, it's quite, it's quite, it's quite thin. This here is only to put the television in and out, nothing else. It also comes with a huge garage which you can see here oh, that's a magnificent garage stacks of stuff in there 450 kilos it'll take this is where the height the instruction manuals are kept 
about 400 pages in there plus lots of additional stuff as well so that's hours of reading you'd have from something like this and that's one of the valves to allow water to get out outdoor shower of course Same large door on this side. Uh, this has got a pull-out system for the um, the the gas canisters. You now these things weigh 24.3 kilos when they're full, uh, and they're only carrying 11 kilos worth of gas. So you don't really want to be lifting them up too much. That's why a system like this, which comes in and out, is so useful, in my opinion. Yesterday I did a video on gas consumption and uh, how much uh, how much individual things use. And here you get this is under the uh, chair in the lounge, and you can see you can open this up here as well if you if you wanted to. This. If you had something there, it had to be carried. Don't know what could be, but there could be something. And this is the double floor. Alde heating. Alde heating is possibly a bit better than Truma, though there's nothing wrong with Truma, in my opinion. So there you have it. The B class as it looks like today, 42 years after it originally came onto the market. Um, this now with this uh, Mercedes uh, Sprinter engine 417, I think this is pretty good. Right, there'll be more information in the description. Thanks very much for watching. Or if you're interested by this, has got the uh, the TV package as well with the antenna and on the roof and uh, and if you want to there'll also be a if you're interested in buying the thing then there will be a link to the sellers website but for the moment thanks very much from from me in Heilbronn Germany and all the best for now